Hello, welcome to the Soul Print Minis. So you're not going to be seeing this video until um, Friday the 7th. I'm recording it actually on July 4th. So the way things change, this could actually be old news, but I want to take a look at the Trump-Smith uh, dynamic, what's going on, because there was an announcement that there could be many, many more indictments coming, whether they're coming in another state or what's happening there. But, you know, <laughs> the dynamic is sort of like this. Smith takes a step forward. Trump freaks out and, and sort of goes off the rails. And then Smith takes another step forward. And Trump freaks out and kind of goes off the rails. This has been the pattern lately because he now has some clarity, uh, and certainly his lawyers have clarity, about what exactly Smith has against him in terms of the Mar-a-Lago documents case. And it doesn't look good. And so, you know, that's why... That's why, you know, Trump's rallies and, and his speaking and his messages have just really, really been out to lunch because, and you know, this is the thing about Trump that's interesting, right? He he thrives on chaos. He, he just does. I mean, he always has. That's apparently part of his success. However, what is happening now is chaos that he is not the puppet master of. That's why he likes the chaos, right? Because he can pit this person against that person and that, right? Well, what he's finding is that this chaos is not within his ability to control. And so that is taking the, the stress and the anxiety to whole new levels. I completely get that he functions in a state of chaos, but he has always functioned in a state of chaos where... He had control, and he does not have any right now. Let's take a look, shall we? Um, Trump-Smith dynamic, Trump-Smith dynamic, Trump-Smith dynamic. So we're starting with the Knight of Cups. So there's definitely, you know, that sort of feeling of um, seeing his life, his situation, Trump, uh, through kind of rose-colored glasses, okay? He chooses to live in this sort of fantasy place where it's all going to be fine. It's just going to work out. He has all the best people working for him who can make every single one of his problems just vanish. And he can... He, he spends a fair amount of time in that place, frankly, because it uh, it it reduces the anxiety, right? He's having trouble actually staying in kind of reality, certainly objective reality, um, because he really has sort of migrated into this place of his reality is of his creating. Meanwhile... You have Jack Smith. This is an interesting card for Jack Smith. But literally what it's showing me is that this is somebody who is placing the law, the swords, first. And he's doing it sort of without prejudice, okay? he um, He's not looking at everything that's going kind of around. He's very focused on this is the evidence. This is how we present it. We need to corroborate this evidence. We've got enough here. It's like that, all right? Ultimately, he is going to be able to bring forward enough information, and enough of the goods, okay, to really... Um, wrap this thing up 
But okay, so what you're getting here is that if we thought what he produced with the Mar-a-Lago's documents case, we ain't seen nothing yet. Nothing yet. And the more comes out, the more freaked out Trump becomes, the more defensive he becomes, and sort of the more irrational he becomes. Jack Smith, on the other hand, has the Nine of Cups. So he is going to manifest his goal. And he has the Hierophant. So you have that sort of the big, powerful government, right? You have this man's incredible skills and talent and you have it going against this somebody who's scared and defensive and somebody who's still trying to see things kind of through this like fantasized vision if you will there's so much that we don't know there's so much that we don't know yet that he knows and his investigators know that it's really going to um, remove any shadows. The illumination, the insight, the clarity with which his speaking indictments speak in many ways are going to become even more brutal for that former guy because... They're so succinct and they're so well done. And the bottom line is he wants to make sure that anything that was outside of the law be taken down. It, 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 and it's interesting, and I think I've said this before, about him. Jack Smith's sort of um, magic, um, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, ability, okay, is that he truly, in his heart, he doesn't care if he's investigating Trump or anybody else. His strength is that he focuses very, very much on what's right, what the law is, what he can prove, what he can get a conviction on, and that's it. Now, there has been talk that he's been talking to Bonnie Wills. Is there some coordination going on there? I suspect there is, in part because... I think he's going to want to make sure that he gets first sort of kick at the can when it comes to dealing with Trump and his legal woes and issues. Um, I don't know if his indictments are going to come out before hers already, like in August sometimes, but it definitely feels like even if hers come out next, the court case is going to be after the Jack Smith deal. And Trump's going to be left with very, very, very little because they just have so much stuff. They're not going to be able to change the narrative. And ultimately, you've got the rule of law winning. And you also have, this is interesting, but you also have... There are females that surround Trump that are singing like a robin in the springtime. And it is females around Trump who are actually filling in some of the blanks and bringing in some of the goods. Um, they may not be, you know, they may be court corroborating something they it's maybe new information but you know all of us have said for forever 
that ultimately it's going to be women that bring him down. And long ago, I stopped trying to figure out what woman. Um, and I came to the realization that it was not a woman. It was the energy of women. It was multiples. Um, and that was ultimately going to be what knocks that man off of his high horse. Because, you know, you just shouldn't piss off women just shouldn't republicans are going to find that out in the next election thank you so much for being here um if i don't see you before next week have a fabulous weekend enjoy and uh, i look forward to seeing you next week there should be another short one coming out after this one bye-bye for now